Today in this video we're going to talk about how to solve the common failure of Mazda RX-8 limited slip differential using racing diffs parts. First thing that will fail you in this factory type limited slip differential is those friction cones. They are prone to, to breaking, you see like this. So from the pressure and the throttle, if you're a drift oriented driver, you will most likely break this friction cones and lose traction and lose locking percentage of your differential. We at Racing Diffs formed a reparation set to install in the factory LSD unit to solve this problem once and for all. And now we're gonna show you how to install that and what is the problem that you're going to solve with this kit. Starting with the disassembly, first you need to remove the crown gear in order to open the limited slip differential unit. Flip the unit and you will see three small bolts holding this piece together. When you finish unscrewing those bolts, flip the unit back, remove the cap and you should see friction cone and here is the problem, it already broke. So this differential works on the friction cones and on the pressure on the preload provided from springs and these sorts of plates, pushing large spider gears against each other, creating the pressure on the cones and creating the friction here makes your diff a limited slip. But when this friction cone breaks loose like this, you have no friction here and no limited slip diff at all. So how to solve this problem? Pretty easy. First, you need to dismantle all parts inside to install the LSD conversion kit. In this side, you have a small pin holding the central pin in its place, preventing it from popping out from the diff. You need to remove it in order to remove the central pin. So once you remove the small pin, you are able to remove the main the central pin. Small spider gear, second small spider gear, another plate, large spider gear, bottom one, and the friction cone. You can see the lower also has a crack like the upper, so no LSD at all. And now, as we have everything well cleaned and lubricated with Motul Gear Competition 75W140 LSD oil, we are going to show you how to put everything together and not make any kind of mistake. You can throw out the old friction cones and start with the racing diffs pack. You have one cone shim, spring shim, that goes in the bottom. After that is the clutch shim, the friction shim. Again, guys, don't forget to lubricate everything well during the assembly procedure. We did that already to keep this video as short as possible, but you guys don't forget it, please. After the clutch shim, large spider gear and side gears. One on each side. Align them as best as you can. And then one plate central pin inside don't forget to secure the central pin from popping out one yellow spring high rated heavy duty springs from racing divs pack replace the old wire like springs without almost any preload this is the heavy duty spring so we want to increase the performance of your limited slip differential unit so we got heavy duty springs in our kit align them perfectly and then upper plate upper spider gear and then the cap on the cap again spring load shim and the clutch shim facing the spider gear this is the order how it needs to be done 
align the holes for the cap and the unit. Make sure this spring plate and the clutch plate are aligned together. There is only one position how it should be put together, so here it is. Flip it while holding it together to prevent all parts popping out. And now it's time to use the hydro press to finish this job until the end. Once you got those screws tightened up, flip the unit and time to return the crown gear. Torque spec for those Crown gear bolt is 100 newton meters, and that's it. So that's it. You saw, guys, this is a piece of cake job. No special tools is required, except maybe for the hydro press, but that's it. This differential is now ready with racing these parts to be abused once again.